yo, I printed this using this. In this video, we're going to go back a couple of weeks as I set up this new 3D printer and talk about some tips and tricks that will be useful if you're thinking about getting your first 3D printer. Let's go. So let's start by giving you guys a little bit of background. This won't be my first 3D printer. I got my first 3D printer a couple of years ago and it was out of commission most of the time because I tinkered with it too much. So to start fresh, I ordered myself the new Creality K1 Max. Oh, I think it's here. Let's go pick it up. Let's be clear, this is not a review video. Also, I bought this printer with my own money because sometimes you pick up hobby that makes you financially irresponsible. Now that's out of the way, let's talk about the first step that people usually do when they want to get their first 3D printer, and that is getting into analysis paralysis, picking up which printer to buy. Let's talk about that now. Here's my first advice if you're looking for your first 3D printer. Stop researching too much and stick with the major manufacturers. The reason for that is because no matter which brand you pick, there will be learning curves. The big brands generally have better community and manufacturer support. At this moment, the two gold standard manufacturers are Bamboo Lab and Prusas. Printers from these two brands are more reliable, more predictable, and require less work than the other brands. The rest of the brands usually produce what I call tinkerer great printers. Printers by these manufacturers usually have less predictable manufacturing quality, but they are cheaper and usually open source. What you save in dollars, you will spend in tinkering time to make the printer more reliable. Hence, tinkerer great printer. Creality is arguably the biggest manufacturer of tinkerer great printers. I picked this printer because I don't mind tinkering a bit. I might regret this later, I might not, we'll see. I think more people need to hear this. This is the quick installation guide. Most manufacturers put this on top of their box because they want you to read the manual first. Trust me when I say that a lot of issues can be avoided by reading the manual. Does anybody know how to read a manual? You know what don't need manual? Subscribing to this channel. If you want to support my desperate need for attention, please subscribe. Now that you ordered your first printer, I recommend doing the following while you're waiting for it to arrive. Number one, go through the manufacturer's wiki. I'll leave the link to the Creality one on the video description, but every brand usually have their own wiki. Number two, know where to find technical support from the manufacturer. Usually you can open a ticket or email. Number three, Join some forum and community specific for a printer. I'm on Reddit and Facebook. While I'm setting this printer up, let's talk about the components that affect your 3D printing result and quality. The first one is the hardware, which is the 3D printer itself. You want to know how to calibrate and maintain your printer. Side note. Here I am doing initial inspection to make sure that my new printer is not damaged from factory or from transport. Next is firmware. Think of a firmware as an operating system for your 3D printer, kind of like your Windows or Mac OS for your laptop or desktop computer. Together, hardware and firmware defines the limit of your printer's capabilities. My rule of thumb now is to not make changes to hardware or firmware without any reason. Because you know, I screwed up my first printer doing exactly that. What you're seeing right now is this printer running self-calibration. This is new for me because I had to do a lot of this calibration manually on my old printer. If you can, get a printer that has auto calibration like this one because trust me, manual calibration sucks. All right, I think we're ready for our first print. For this print, we are going to use the filament that comes with the printer. So let's talk really quickly about filament. Put simply, filament is a string of plastic that the printer will melt and print with. There are different type, brands, and colors of filaments, and each one of them behave and print differently. Also, you get what you paid for, so don't be cheap. We are printing a file that comes preloaded with this printer. 
reloaded files should print really easily. So, if you encounter any issue, call support immediately. Alright guys, these are the first two files that were printed with this printer and they turned out great which is kind of expected because these are pre-sliced files that came with the printer. So for our next test, we are going to slice our own file and print it. This will be a two-step process. Step 1, download a file from a website like Printables. For those of you who are asking whether you need to know 3D modeling before you purchase your first 3D printer, the answer is not really. But in order for you to get the most out of your 3D printer, I think you should know a little bit of 3D modeling, which is why I'm learning 3D modeling myself. Step 2. Slice the file in the slicer. A slicer is a software that slices 3D model into two-dimensional layer so that the 3D printer can print the model layer by layer. A lot of 3D printing issues actually can be solved by changing slicer parameters, so get to know your slicer really well. Now as for me, I'm using the recommended slicer, Creality Print, but I might learn something different in the future, just as a backup. So let's get printing. Okay, I'm actually quite impressed by this printer. The first few prints turned out really well. And since I want to make this video a little bit more interesting, let's print something that's a little bit more difficult so that I can show you guys some troubleshooting steps. Alright, we're going to print this collapsing katana. This print can be challenging because it is a print-in-place model. To put simply, a print-in-place model requires accuracy and it has low margin of error so your printer needs to be calibrated properly. The creator of this model recommends printing this test model first. So here goes. Well, that did not take too long. I can expect that to happen though, so that I can introduce you guys to my troubleshooting flow. This flow is split into three sections. First section is sanity check. You want to make sure that the issue that you encounter is a real issue. And it's not just you trying to justify an upgrade or trying to get perfect calibration for no reason at all. Second part is DYOR, do your own research. A well-researched question is a lot better than, hey guys, it fails, help. And finally, troubleshooting. My recommendation is to make sure that this is not a case of WAF or wet as filament. And then the next step, you want to play around with your slicer settings. Only go to hardware and firmware if it's really really necessary. Oh, and if you need a warranty claims, good luck. Alright, let's try this flow. Alright, let's troubleshoot this issue. This issue passed the sanity check for sure since the print failed. So next, I did my research on how to fix print not sticking. I cleaned the build plate and increased bed temperature. This time, it finished the test print successfully. But the part sticks to each other. I noticed that it's on the Z seam, 
So I went back into the slicer and randomized the ZC. One more try. At this time, I wasn't sure if this was successful print or not, so it kind of explains my reaction here. Also guys, this collapsing katana is really fun. I whip this sword all around the house for the next couple days. And I think I kind of proved that the troubleshooting flow kind of worked, sort of, if you actually follow it. Well that was fun. Setting up this printer has been a lot easier than my old printer. I'm going to learn Fusion 360 to get the most out of this. But for now, I hope this video will help you guys demystify 3D printing a little bit. And to end this video, we're going to print one more thing for fun. The thing that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. Let's go! Hello there.